Hello guys, this is Genuine Gaming and here is my video to help you understand how combat works in Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. The best way to explain how combat works in Pathfinder is through the turn-based combat. Let us start first with your HUD in turn-based combat. On top of your screen is the order of each turn. And the order of combat is determined by your initiative role, which can be found in your game log if you like to check. Each combatant rolls a d20 plus dexterity bonus plus feats that increases your initiative role. An example for this is improved initiative, which gives you a plus 4 in every initiative checks. Once the order of movement is set, you can also change the order by delaying your moves. You can use delay of movements for important tactics like letting your attack character moves after they are buffed. So, you let them move after your buffer by delaying their movement. On top of your character screen is your available move each round. Each character has a full action in each round. Full action is composed of move action, standard action, swift action like lay hands self and drinking a potion, and a free action. Let's now put the HUD aside. Let's go to the combat system itself. A combat is composed of rounds. Rounds is composed of turns, and turns is composed of move action, standard action, swift action, and free action. The first round is called the surprise round. If you are successful with perception check, you will be able to surprise your enemies. This will give you a standard action and no standard action and not a full round action. Unaware combatants are flat-footed, that is why they lose any dexterity bonus to AC. After the surprise rounds are the regular rounds. Regular rounds is equal to 6 seconds in real time with pause mode. Knowing how many seconds each round is very important so that you will know the duration of your spells. Spells with 1 minute duration means 10 rounds. 1 hour is 600 rounds. All characters start with being flat-footed until their first turn. A full turn is composed of move action and a standard action. Move action. You can move depending on your movement speed, which you can find in the inventory section. Wearing medium armor or heavy armor reduces your movement speed by 10 feet. If your regular movement speed is 30 feet, it becomes 20 feet. Also, the encumbrance of your character also affect movement speed. So, regularly check the encumbrance of each member of your party. You can increase your movement speed by spells, potions, or feats. You might notice this button here. It is the 5 foot step. You can use your 5 foot step move instead of your move action. What's the 5 foot step for? 5 foot step is usually used to avoid attacks of opportunity. You provoke an attack of opportunity by moving into or out of a threatened square, shooting a ranged weapon of a melee, or casting a spell in a melee. Or you could use a 5 foot step to keep your full round attack action. Full round attack action A full round attack action is different from a standard attack action. Every time your base attack bonus or BAB reaches plus 6, you will gain a plus 1 secondary attack. If your base attack bonus reaches plus 11, you have a plus 6 on your second attack and a plus 1 on your third attack. Here lies the difference of a full round attack and a standard attack. A standard attack is only one attack. With full round attack action, you can use all your attack action depending on your base attack bonus plus your feats. Example of feats that increases the number of attacks you get is rapid shots or ranged weapons, 
flurry blows for monks, to weapon combat for melee. The combat continues until all enemies are defeated or you are defeated by the enemies. I hope you now understand the combat system of Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. If this video is helpful, let me know by clicking the like button or leave me a comment below. If you want more videos about Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous, subscribe to my channel. And do not forget to click the bell button to always get notified every time I upload a video. See you in the next vid. Ciao!